Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I am going to discuss about ordinal regression. Ordinal regression is done when we have a dependent variable with ordinal measurement scale and independent variable with a nominal or continuous measurement scale. Now let us start the discussion with an example. In this example, there are two variables. First one is satisfaction and the second one is brand. Satisfaction is an ordinal data and brand is categorical data. If you want to find out what is the association of brand with satisfaction, we must conduct ordinal regression. As satisfaction is dependent variable and brand is independent variable. The dependent variable satisfaction is a Likert scale data with uh, highly satisfied, you can see here, 1 as highly dissatisfied to 5 as highly satisfied. The brand is categorical data or nominal data with uh, 1 as brand A, brand B, brand C and brand D. They are totally 4 types of brands for the categorical variable brand. In this research, 100 respondents who are using the above four types of brands are requested to rate their satisfaction level from highly dissatisfied to highly satisfied for the brands they are using. Now let us start this ordinal regression analysis. Click analyze in this regression and in this ordinal. Now, dependent variable is satisfaction and independent variable is factor. Now, this brand is categorical data. So, I have selected in factors. If the independent variable is a scale data or continuous data, we must select in covariates. We must select in the covariates. Okay. Now, among all these buttons select output and in this output by default we have goodness of fit statistics summary statistics parameter elements apart from this select the test of parallel lines and click continue and now click ok now this is the output screen now in the output screen you can see the first is a warning. The warning says there are four cells approximately 20% of the data uh, with zero frequencies. It means if you see the cross table between dependent and independent we will find that. Okay, row I have taken as brand and column as a satisfaction. Now, if you see here, this is the cross table between type of brand and satisfaction levels. Total, there are 20 cells are there. That is 5 into 4. 5 satisfaction levels and 4 brands, 20 cells. In this, 4 cells, that is this cell, 1, 2, 3 and 4. These 4 cells are having 0 frequencies. So, this is a warning which we got that there are four cells that is 20 percent cells with a zero frequency generally system expects that there must not be any zero frequency cells so since we got four cells with a zero frequency system is giving a warning for us now the next table is case processing summary in this case processing summary we can see the satisfaction level distribution you can see uh, mostly people are 54 percent dissatisfied uh, and um, 20 percent are highly dissatisfied because total number of respondents are 100 we are getting the number and percentage equal and if you see the brand brand a b c d all are 25 25 equal proportion we have taken 
each brand respondents we have taken 25 people who are using for last one year brand a brand b brand c and brand d 25 members for each brand is selected now this is a case processing summary now let us come for the important table which is called as model fitting information in this table first we must see the significant value the significant value here is a 0, 0.00 always the significant value in this table must be less than 0. 0.05 then we will be rejecting the null hypothesis what is a null hypothesis the null hypothesis statement is like this there is no significant difference between baseline model to the final model then what is a baseline model baseline model is a model without any independent variable means in the baseline model will have only intercept but no independent variables and the final model will be with all possible independent variables now we are creating a statement null hypothesis saying that there is no significant difference between baseline model to final model and when we are rejecting that null hypothesis means there is a significant difference between baseline model to the final model the conclusion for this table is if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 we are considering that there is a difference between the baseline model to the final model in case if this value significant value is not less than 0 0.05 then we cannot give any surety that what the analysis we are doing is correct so the first important constraint to be checked is the significant value for model fit must be less than 0 0.05 after this condition is fulfilled next we are going to go for the next table which is called goodness of fit in this goodness of fit we must see this psn value significant value must be seen this significant value must be greater than 0 0.05 how much value we got in this case 0 0.146 which is greater than 0 0.05 now what happens if it is greater than 0 0.05 means the goodness of fit test whether the observed data is consistent with the fitted model we have a null hypothesis for this the null hypothesis statement is the observed data is having goodness of fit with the fitted model now if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis and if it is more than 0 0.05 we accept the null hypothesis now we are accepting the null hypothesis that the observed data is having goodness of fit with the fitted data so the second constraint is in goodness of fit this psn value significant value must be greater than 0 0.05 in case if it is not greater than 0 0.05 means the data which we are using is not significantly fitting the model what we are going to now discuss so the second condition is the goodness of fit significant value this psn value must be greater than 0 0.05 when we are discussing model fit information the significant must be less than 0 0.05 but when you are discussing goodness of fit the psn value this significant must be greater than 0 0.05 and the third table is pseudo r square in this pseudo r square the nagleykarik value this value here in this case we got 0 0.381 this value must be 0 0.7 now what is this pseudo r square this pseudo r square is a proportion of the variance explained by the independent variable on the dependent variable 
in the regression model means how much variance proportion of variance the independent variable is explaining on the dependent variable now we got here 0.381 which is less than 0.7 actually we, we can expect around 0.7 it should be more than that it's well and good if it is 0.7 and less than that then we expect that more independent variables should be selected in this case i have taken only brand as independent variable on the dependent variable satisfaction so we must take not only brand we can take gender we can take some other categories we can take and check the model then this pseudo r square neglect correct value which is 0.381 will increase more than 0.7 the maximum value we can have here is only one so here i am having 0.381 because i have only one independent variable in case if i increase the independent variable number then there is a chance that my pseudo r square value that is a proportion of variance explained by the independent variables on dependent variable will definitely increase so this is the third table the fourth table is parameter estimation in this table we can find the satisfaction level of all the four brands brand four that is brand d is a taken as a referential brand and all other brand satisfactions are compared brand a brand b and brand c estimates are positive in this case which indicate that brand a brand b and brand c are having more satisfaction level than brand d since these values are positive it mean these brands are having more positive satisfaction than brand d okay if in case any brand estimate is a negative then that brand satisfaction is less than brand d but in our case all other brands are having positive estimates so we can conclude that brand d satisfaction is less than all other brands or we can say the other three brands are having more satisfaction levels than brand d if we calculate the exponential values of the estimate then we can interpret the exact satisfaction levels so in this table we have uh, all the four brands here and the estimates are given brand d estimate is zero so as we discussed these values are positive means more satisfaction than compared to brand d and if you see the exponential values these are the exponential values brand c exponential value is 42.803 it means brand c is having 42.803 times more satisfaction than brand d in the same way brand b exponential value 4.90 it mean brand b is having 4.9 times more satisfaction than brand d and the same way for brand a exponential value is 1.3 it mean brand a is having 1.3 times more satisfaction level than brand d and this table is a graphical representation of the comparisons so as we discussed earlier like uh, compared to brand d we have 42.803 times more more satisfied and compared to brand d uh, brand b is 4.905 uh, 4 times more satisfied and you can see here brand a is having only 1.38 times more significant more satisfied than brand d okay back to the table uh, in the parameter estimation you please note the significant values the significant value for brand 1 is 0 0.636 if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 then only the difference is significant but if you see for brand 1 the value is 0 0.636 means which is not significant but for brand 
2 it is 0 0.011 this is significant brand 3 it is 0 0.00 it is also significant means uh, whatever the analysis we said like compared to brand 4 brand 3 is significant compared to brand 4 brand 2 is significant difference and compared to brand 4 brand 1 is not significant means brand 1 and brand 4 does not have any significant difference in level of satisfaction so this is an important interpretation the fifth table is test of parallel lines uh, and it is related to proportion odds you can see the null hypothesis the null hypothesis states that the location parameters are the same across response categories what are location parameters they are brand 1 2 3 4 response categories are satisfaction levels it is saying that the distribution of brand opinion towards satisfaction level is uniform that is brand a b c d towards the referential levels that is highly dissatisfied to highly satisfied they are uniformly distributed the null hypothesis states that the location parameters are the same across response categories now let us see whether we accept the null hypothesis or reject it the significant value is 0.0 89 if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis since the value here is 0 0.089 which is more than 0 0.05 we accept the null hypothesis means we conclude that the location parameters are the same across response categories so this is the fifth table interpretation now we will summarize all these five tables once okay the first table is model fit fitting information this significant value must be less than 0 0.05 this is good in this case the goodness of fit value the significant value for psn must be more than 0 0.05 then only we call goodness of fit is there this is also satisfied pseudo r square neglect value this must be more than 0 0.7 this is inadequate the proportion is not the variance of proportion is not explained because we are taking only one independent variable so if we increase the independent variable then automatically this neglect value can be increased to r square value can be increased more than 0 0.7 and the fourth table is parameter estimates in this table reference to brand 4 the level of satisfaction can be known in this case uh, the satisfaction of brand 1 brand 2 brand 3 are more than brand 4 but there is no significant difference between brand 1 and brand 4 because the significant value is greater than 0 0.05 and the fifth table is a test of parallel lines in this test of parallel lines the significant value must be greater than 0 0.05 then only the location parameters are the same across response categories so this is how we interpret ordinal regression and i wish this video is informative for you please like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you